Dinosauring in. <laughs> like a raptor he is. How are you? What did I miss? Uh, and that's the way the season concludes. Exactly. <laughs> 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 um, so how was it finding Dagger? It was super fun. It's something we've been wanting to do since the first season. Obviously, it's in the you know the first uh, edition, the first volume of the Runaways comics. So it's something we kept saying, Jeff, can we do it this year? And he would kind of go, Not this year. <laughs> Not this year. <laughs> Maybe next year. And then finally, this season, it all it all came together. We'd reach fun. into the bag and he'd come out. And yeah. <laughs> There'd be nothing in the bag. But the cast all know each other, and they wanted to do it too. And Joe Bukowski, the showrunner of Cloak and Dagger, was also excited about it. So where there's a will, there was a way, and uh, I think people are really excited about it. Well, right now, all we have is the, our, our their, their visit to Los Angeles. We have a very big underground man. Huh? And who knows? Who knows? Yes. There's only two of them. It's easier for them to travel than for us <laughs> yes, to bring our, it our is. whole brood and our dinosaur. And, you know. How do you feel now that uh, the merger is complete with Fox that the terminologies will change with, because I know uh, Molly's character is a mutant, but they couldn't use the terminology mutant. Well, we've, we've invented our own backstory for Molly that's yeah. in the show now, and I think we're going to stay true to that. Yeah. Victor Macho? Um. Jeff? Uh, <laughs> reach into the bag. Reach into the bag. I, I just stay tuned, I would say, is, is the way we go. It's, Uh, sure. <laughs> you know, if, so you, well if, if you see it, then it must be true. <laughs> uh, this is the hardest part for, for fans to sort of grasp around. A, a large part of it has to do with production and when something isn't shooting and when something is shooting and it, can we physically make it happen. Uh, can, uh, you know, Olivia and Aubrey happen to be available. They were really happy to shoot in Los Angeles. Uh, that show shoots in New Orleans. Not that they don't love being in New Orleans, but they happen to live in L.A. Uh, and so, uh, and it actually was one of the few times Liv, who's been doing this since she was like four, told us that she'd never shot in L.A. Uh, and so it, that part was exciting. And then, uh, as they were saying, it, like, the... The gang had become friends. The story lent itself into that. It really starts from a place of does it work with the story, and then does it work with production, and then does it work for the networks? And, and when all those things jive, the, the magic bag says, okay. Yeah. From season two? Oh my god, it feels so long ago now. <laughs> I just wrapped season three. That's all I can think I don't, I, don't think, I don't think we leave stuff on the floor. Yeah. Like it's the shows yeah. are pretty tight. Yeah. yeah, and weirdly, like a couple times we cut something from one episode and then we put it in another episode. It's like a flashback. Or <laughs> oh, it's all in there. Yeah. No. Yeah, the nice thing with being at Hulu after uh, this, for Steph and I, this was our first non-network show, and obviously our network show is like 41, 22 minutes. It should be or shouldn't be. On the on the nose, yeah. So to be able to do an episode that has 40, it just kind of comes what suits the episode. Which is what that's and they're usually between 45 and 55 yeah. generally, but it's not like no 49 rules. was our sweet spot. Yeah. <laughs> Josh gets a lot of anxiety watching anything if it's over 60 minutes. If you've told me it's an hour, I, give, I allow you an hour, and I turn it on, it says 104. I'm like, no, we had an hour, what are the four minutes? And by the way, often they don't need the extra four minutes. Even if it's the credits, right? Huh? Even if it's the credits. I always factor in the credits, and it's still, you don't get more than an hour. Come on, what are we doing here? Yeah. Uh, too soon to tell is basically it. Um, I, I know it all feels 
uh, you know, like it's it's all done. Let's go do that. It it still takes a lot of time. I, you're moving two ocean liners together and trying to make sure they don't scrape up against each other. So I, so far, it's been amazing. Um, but yeah, I think it'll be a little bit before we uh, see Doctor Doom stopping by. <laughs> not that not that I said that Doctor Doom would ever stop by, but <laughs> Jeff Loeb just said four <laughs> corner ways, Doctor Doom and Victor Mancha. <laughs> All right, guys, great panel. <laughs> Are there any uh, storylines from the Runaway comics that you guys haven't touched on that you really want to? Well, I think the whole Rainbow Rowell run of comics is something that's really yeah. intriguing, uh, especially as our kids have started to not be kids anymore, you know, and become young adults. So if we had the opportunity, I think that's a whole really wonderful well of source material to be, uh, to draw from. Yeah. Ooh, that's a Stephanie question. Is it now? Um, no, we talked a lot about this season, about how the kids, you know, are, are moving out of being kids. It's no longer a question of, like, should we move back home with our parents? Should we forgive them? They're not going backwards. They're only going forwards, and they're getting to a place where they would be thinking about college. They would be thinking about getting jobs and, and moving on with their lives as young adults, and that's happening while they're also in a moment of, like, peak crisis in terms of what's going on with their group and what's going on with their parents and having to make some really hard choices and some really adult choices. This is certainly a, a, a season where no one is safe and when you have someone who's as formidable as Morgan Le Fay who's played by Elizabeth Hurley, you can expect, expect Expect casualties. <laughs> yeah, not everyone's making it through this season. On that ominous note, <laughs> <laughs> and that's the lead. Doctor Doom kills half the cast. <laughs>